So this is the intersection. Uh, this is East Bra, but then it becomes Lower uh, Fayetteville. And here is the depot. Now, in this grassy area, I'm going to show you a picture of the charming building that was there. It was the uh, passenger um, seating area and offices for this depot. The other thing that, I'm, that I was told is that um, when Noonanites refer to the depot, it's really the, a large passenger depot that was on Savannah Street, and that's also been demolished. But that's what everyone refers to when they lived here for a long time. They refer to that as the depot. Okay, so now we're looking down East Broad Street. Now, the um, all of this, this battle started in July of 1864. The Battle of Atlanta was 18. Excuse me, July 22nd, and uh, then uh, the interaction. Here, I think it was July 30th. I'm not sure. Next week, I'm going to go out to Brownsville, and um, I'll do more on that. But uh, it was the Union Army came to Fairburn to tear up the railroad, and they were going to come to Noonan to tear up the railroad because it was a hospital town. So the Confederacy got wind of this. They put their horses on um, the railroad, like, at, like an open-air cabin or a trailer or whatever, so that they could save the horses. Here's the original R.D. Cole building. And they met them. They were here at the depot, and right over that hill where that car's coming, this is where the Yankees came over in the Calvary. And so the battle started here, and I don't know how it got uh, placed somewhere else, but it's about three miles from here. So looking up, there's there's the courthouse on the square every inch of the square every barn every shed was filled with wounded and um, several books were written about that by two nurses the fanny beer story and then there's one other lady i can't quite remember so this is kind of like a venue tour and a little history tour as well this is our parking lot it's a um, kind of neat, neat paved. It's impervious, so the water sinks down through and it gets drained somewhere else. And then here's the, the front entrance. And this is the large depot building. There are three entrances into the large depot building. So this is the front room, the kind of the reception room. Uh, these are Civil War. guns. Two bathrooms there. Two bars. Those bar you can move the bars if you wish. The floor is concrete, so you don't need to run a dance floor. So I'll just run in the kitchen here and show you. We do have an ice machine that's a warmer. Sink and microwave. And then this is our, that goes out to the platform, which we will go. Uh, you have use of all of these tables and chairs. We have 135 chairs. And they're all included in the price. It's mantle. People use it as like the altar. We have round tables. Uh, I do have an expensive digital brochure about it, about renting it. So this is the platform. It's 9 feet by 72 feet. And you, you wouldn't come through the kitchen. There's another set of double doors. But this is this is the east. So I've been out here in July in the late afternoon, and I was really surprised at how breezy and pleasant it is. This huge brick building um, blocks the sun. So a lot of people do cocktails after the ceremony if they're having a wedding. Uh, I've seen some, some really great um, appetizer spreads. We do have a web, uh, Facebook page called Noonan Coweta Historical Sighting Venues, and I keep that really updated with all of the parties that we've had here. We've had some beautiful things. So this is the main room. And uh, as I said before, it's, we got we have an issue up there that they were repairing. Um, it's 2,200 square feet. This particular door goes out to the, to the parking lot. This goes to a side yard that's about 3,600 square feet. All grassy, level and grassy. We have a lot of tents there. And then this goes out on the platform. So these Edison lights are included. 
uh, we had a beautiful wedding in May, and the dad of the bride set these up, and we thought it looked great, so we purchased that in them. Okay, so um, NCHS, excuse me, Noonan Catweta Historical Society Venues. That's the name of our Facebook page. So the uh, railroad did not come to Noonan until 1851. Prior to that, we got our mail by way of a stagecoach. And we had several different depots. There's the Grantville Depot. Uh, it was called the Atlanta and West Point Railroad. And we had several citizens who were the original investors. Okay, so this is that Union Station. See down there, it's much, much larger than this. It was more like the passenger station. That is the, um, the photograph of that station that's now been demolished. So I, call, I showed you the RD Coal Manufacturing Company that was right across the street. And that also that area, that, we were, that street that we were looking down, East Broad Street, that is Coal Town, named for the Coal family. And they just walked to their um, large manufacturing facility right there on the railroad. So they operated, there, there have been operations there for 150 years, that industrial complex. And they actually repaired and made freight cars um, after the war at that facility. Then they just put them on the train. They also, the R.D. Cole family was also the um, lar second largest manufacturer of water tanks in the nation. Got some glare there. Okay, so there is our little building. See that witch's hat? That was a circular passenger area uh, where people waited for the trains. Okay, so um, back in the depot here. And um, we have a passport program that we are going to be launching in May. And it was very successful last year. And you, you would, there were 10 locations and you um, would visit these locations and then get your passport stamped. And we hope to have the depot, we hope to be open again, we hope to have the depot up and running so that you can visit and look at um, some of these um, things that we have here on the walls that explain a lot about our history. Uh, we did have an expert scheduled for to talk about General William McIntosh. That will be later on though. It's our lecture series where we cover the Creek Confederacy. Uh, we talk about the first settlers here. There's something about the hospitals in Noonan. We've always been a hospital town. Uh, and then medicine here. And then we have a lot of paintings done by Martin Pate. So this was a picture of the original courthouse before we had that great one done by J.W. Galuk. So this courthouse was supposedly riddled uh, with um, with bullet holes from the Civil War. Later on, they put a big steeple there, uh, but we built the current courthouse in 1904. So this is another painting by Martin Pate. Sorry to get that reflection, but you can see what it looks like here. Uh, maybe I should turn those off. The um, you know, that's what the depot looked like. That little house that has two windows. That little house, it's still there. I'm going to tell you about that whistle. Another painting by Mr. Martin Pate. Buena Vista. This is on LaGrange Street. Uh, this house still exists. So this was the Confederate general that, that after the war, uh, he came into the house, this was his headquarters, and uh, he just basically collapsed on the dining room table and just slept there. Uh, this was the whistle, the steam whistle, that was at the R.D. Coal Manufacturing Company. And it said that the whole town ran their schedule by this. I think it ran at five till eight, it, it sounded at five till eight, then at eight. Then it sounded at 12 noon for lunch, and then at 12.55 to give you five minutes that you knew you, knew you had to get back uh, to work, and then at five o'clock. And I'm told that you could hear it as far away as Roscoe. And so here is Fanny Beers, who was the nurse who, she was actually from Massachusetts, she married a Confederate soldier and she came down here to, um, to serve as a nurse all during the war. So she has written a book, Fanny Beers. It's her diary. 
and then there's one other from a lady. So here we, soon after the war, I think we talked about this a couple of weeks earlier, um, you know, Noonan started their first uh, warehouse, excuse me, uh, factory to gin cotton in 1866. And then all along the, to, to have these cotton mills, you have to have a, a body of water with a certain level of fall to, because they were all steam generated. And so the Chattahoochee provides that. And uh, so from West Point all the way up to Bremen, the whole Western side of the county, of the state, excuse me, is um, littered with these cotton mills. But there were a lot of, Kelly had a lot of other businesses as well. They got really got into peaches. And uh, this shows some of the, the first um, merchants that set up shop after the Civil War and how we became prosperous. The guy in the lower left in the, in the oval, that is T.E. Atkinson, one of two uh, Georgia governors that are from Georgia, the other one being Ellis Arnold. So hopefully you will be a member of our passport program and I can come and show you these photos and we can talk a little bit more extensively in person. I'm going to have a Girl Scout tour and a Boy Scout tour for badge earning. And so look for more information on that. Thank you.